What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. In my previous video, I showed you what I'm currently working on. It's an application called Sandbox JP, which is supposed to give you some features from Chillback environments, but without any exploits, which means that it works on all devices and any iOS version. Now I said that in this, we have a terminal and you can actually run commands like uname a and stuff like that and these commands would run and it took me a long time to get that working because i had to recreate a lot of unix tools in swift however i told you in my previous video that you can actually ssh into this tool and run the commands from the computer just like you would do through ssh from the computer to a jailbroken device and we can run commands i'm going to show you in a second let's connect but before we can connect we need to activate netcat from the actual sandbox jb environment do that you can run nc or netcat and it will get this we're gonna do netcat start so nc start which will start the server and it will begin listening on port 4444 now i can leave the device alone in there and i can connect from the computer so i can go nc 192.168.1.142 this is the ip of the device and as you can see it asks for a port 2 so i'm gonna go with 4444 and as you can see it connects we are asked for a username, it's going to be a root, and the password is going to be alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. So as you can see, it connected, it says Geotherm2, the Geotherm2 is the terminal from the application, from inside the Sandbox JB, and we can now run proper commands. We can see the available files, we can run stuff, and of course, you can also run bash scripts directly from here. So I'm going to actually demonstrate that so you can see it in action. This device, as I said, is not jailbroken. Everything we're doing in here is completely without a jailbreak, which I think is pretty cool considering how scarce the jailbreaks are these days let's grab an sh file and run it so i can demonstrate that this works i'm going to use curl for that so it's going to be curl minus o i'm going to name it test file.sh and it's going to be from my website advicecentral.com slash test slash test dot sh this is going to be the file it got it quickly and as you can see we can lsl in here and the file is now present in there let's actually cap the file to see what it contains test file.sh and as you can see, this is the content of the file. It's a simple bash script over here that just echoes geotherm2 shell script demo. And then it creates a variable and uses said variable. And then it tells us the current directory and then it runs the uname-a command automatically and prints some more stuff, does a curl command to this over here and then does neo-fetch, which I had to recreate from scratch in Swift, which was not easy and it's still very buggy, but I'm getting to it. So let's run this actual command over here. To do that, we can just run dot slash and say test file dot sh and it will run the thing and there you go as you can see it ran the thing and this is the actual output from it so here's where we ran it and it's running on the sandbox jb without any jailbreak current directory as you can see we're inside the fake file system created inside the application documents folder and inside that file system we have this and it's on this device the curl command actually ran successfully so it can connect to network stuff and then attempting to do the new fetch stuff and that's it so as you can see we can actually connect and do stuff and create files we can do a simple touch like touch hello youtube.txt and it will create a file we can lsl and as you can see the file is now inside in here and this is because i'm actually creating a fake file system inside the applications folders that we have access to so that the sandbox is not bothering us this is nice because you can actually have files in there you can run the script and stuff like that all this without being jailbroken i hope you enjoy it i hope you like it this is very much still in development will take a long time to finish it but i will release betas and stuff like that as time progresses thank you for watching and just now tell me what you think about this down below and if you find it useful and peace out